Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, live trading demo with BISC. We're going to be uh, demoing tonight a BTC USD trade with uh, myself playing the buyer of Bitcoin. Uh, I'm Chris Beams. I'm a co founder of BISC. With me is Felix Moreno. Hi, Chris. And uh, sorry. Just had to mute something. Uh, and uh, so Felix is gonna play the seller. I'm gonna buy Felix's Bitcoin with my US dollars. We're gonna use Square's Cash App uh, to settle that trade. We also have Christoph Ataneda here with us from the BISC team. Uh, we're gonna dive right into it. If you uh, didn't see it yesterday, we did a much more extensive demo. We gave lots of context and walked through all the features that you'll, you're about to see. You can check that out in the show notes below. There's a link to that video. It's a one hour video. We're gonna try to get this one done in 10, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so here we go. Felix, take it away. Right, so I'm gonna jump straight into it. Let me share my screen. You should be able to see it now. Let me know if you can't see it. And I'm going to go directly to, I want to sell BTC for USD. I'm gonna create a new offer to sell BTC for USD. You can see there's many other offers there already. I'm gonna choose Cash App as my payment method. Set the amount. Set the price. I'm just gonna do a distance from market of zero percent, and set the security deposit for buyer at minimum. Next step. Here we go. Right. I understand. This is what I need to fund my offer. You can see the, the security deposit, the trading fee, the mining fee. I'm going to transfer funds from BISC wallet this time. Should have enough. Your wallet is sufficiently funded. Review place offer. You can review all the other information again. Confirm place offer. The offer is being published. And as soon as the offer is published, there we go. Portfolio open offers. You can see my offer here. And if I go to the order book, you should be able to see an offer to sell Bitcoin 001. That's the one. That's mine. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and now it's up to you, Christoph. Okay, so you guys have got my screen. So again, I'm going to play the buyer, right? So I want to buy the, the Bitcoin that Felix just put up. And so I'm going to click on the buy BTC button here in BISC. And we should see that's the one, right? For 1064, I'm going to click on buy BTC. BISC is going to communicate with Felix's client, check to see if the offer is still available. It is. So I'm going to click next step two. This is telling me that I'm going to need to put in a security deposit. Again, you can watch the more detailed video to get all the information on why we do that. I'm going to fund this transfer from my BISC wallet. I already have a little bit of Bitcoin here. Again, what I'm funding is my security deposit fundamentally there. And I'm now going to review the offer. And I'm going to confirm taking the offer. And Felix, maybe you want to share your screen again so we can see what happens on your side when your client gets notified. Okay, so I've successfully taken an offer. I'm going to go to open trades on my side. Felix's screen shows that his trade has been taken. And now we're both in a wait state. So we're waiting for the next block to be mined uh, on the Bitcoin blockchain. And let's just see what our situation looks like. When was the last block? When we started this call just a few minutes ago, a block had been mined uh, just several minutes before. So we might be uh, well-timed to, to be in line for the next block here. Let's see what happens. Hmm, am I reading that correctly? It was still just one minute ago. Doesn't seem right. Okay. Ah, actually, okay. So we may be we may be waiting for a few minutes here to pick up the next block. In the meantime, while we wait, we can show what we're actually waiting for. So let's dig into this 
to the details of this trade here. If I click on that info button, you can see that there's actually three transactions uh, involved in any BISC trade. There's the maker fee transaction, the taker fee transaction, and the deposit transaction. And uh, in this case, Felix was the seller and he was the maker. He was the one who placed the offer into the offer book. That's what we mean when we say maker. So let's have a look at that transaction. Click that link and just bring up the block explorer here. So Felix put in, Zero point zero zero six Bitcoin. He paid about twenty satoshis per byte, which should be plenty to get mined in the next block. Fingers crossed. And it had several outputs. Right here, you can see that transaction paying the BISC arbitrator. And if we have more time, we can talk a little bit about arbitration. But again, we talked about it in detail on the call yesterday. Uh, this bottom one is a change address, paying back to paying back to Felix. Uh, the remainder that uh, was extra for paying into this. And this is the maker, uh, this is uh, his um, uh, uh, his funds that he's actually that he's actually trading here, plus his security deposit. So Felix's security deposit as a seller was the standard 0 0.003 Bitcoin. And uh, the amount being traded was 0 0.001. So that's why you see Zero, zero, 004 there. And we're still waiting for, oh, it was actually included in the block. So that's already happened. Let's see where we are with the taker fee. So I was the buyer and I took Felix's, uh, Felix's trade. So it looks like what happened was Felix was fast enough to get into the last block that happened. And then while I was talking and clicking through my BIS clients, I missed the block. So that's why we're now waiting for the next one. So my transaction is unconfirmed, but you can see it's a similar looking transaction, right? I paid in a total of 003 Bitcoin for inputs. I paid about 24, I paid 24 Satoshis per byte. So I should really make the next block now. And again, I paid my arbitrator here. BISC's arbitration fee. When we talk about trading fees in BISC, that's what we mean. Trading fees in BISC go directly to BISC's arbitrators. So that if anything goes wrong in a trade, you can dispute that trade, you can escalate that trade to arbitration and there's somebody standing by to help you. You're literally paying your arbitrator every time you trade on BISC. And uh, if you haven't heard the news, that amount is pretty low, right? Zero, 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 five Bitcoin. That's just 5,000 Satoshis. Uh, that's about 50 cents worth of Bitcoin at the moment. So that's an extremely uh, low amount to pay for a trade on any trading platform. Uh, that's because in BISC 0.6.6, we just reduced trading it's fees in. by 75%. So let's Confirm. see, let's refresh. And let's just see the block explorer tell us the same. Going to, it does. Let's go back to BISC. Attention required for this trade. It's telling me, and actually notice what it says, because this is this is going to this is giving giving us instructions for what I'm about to do. I need to go pay Felix, and it's saying, pay Felix via Cash App with this account, and do not use any additional notices, right? And the reason for payment: don't say Bitcoin, don't say BTC, don't say BISC. Only use the trade ID. It's very important. Okay, so close. Let's close that out. We see all the transactions have been confirmed start payment, right? So we're now walking through BISC's trade process or trade protocol. And I'm going to now bring up Cash App, right? Many people use this through their mobile. There's a web interface as well. And so I'm now gonna make a new payment with the agreed upon payment method. And the amount again is $10.64 USD. So let's type that in, 10.64. I'm going to pay Felix Moreno Flix1. It says that right there. Pay Flix1. And the reason for payment is this randomly generated code. Okay, pay.
So I'm not done paying Felix yet, even though from Cash App's perspective, I'm finished. And now must go back into BISC and press this button, payment started. Yes, I have definitely initiated the payment. And the reason for that is that BISC isn't integrated in any way with Cash App. It's relying on you to go outside of BISC to make that payment and then tell BISC that you did it. Now on Felix's side, you can see he needs to take attention, right? Go ahead, Felix, if you wanna walk through that. You can see my screen now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just got a pop-up saying attention required for this trade, recent for payment, you have been paid, I close. And now I have to go to my cash app and check that I have received that payment. So here I am, activity. Let me just refresh. And um, we have 7HQ5E1064. 7HQ5E1064. I have received the payment and I will click on confirm payment received. Yes, I have received the payment and sending confirmation and we can go back to your screen no actually no this is it nothing else needs to be done trade completed you can now withdraw your funds and i'm going to click on move my i recover my security deposit as you can see 0 0.003 i will move those funds to my bisque wallet and that's it now we can go to your screen chris yeah, so what popped up on my screen, the, the uh, thing went away, but a little link came up saying uh, this trade is now completed. And that brings me to this screen, final step in the process. Same thing as Felix just went through. I'm now, you know, this much Bitcoin richer, right? I've bought Felix's Bitcoin. So what do I want to do with it? I could withdraw it to my external wallet or I could move it into my BISC wallet. Again, BISC is a complete Bitcoin wallet. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to keep the funds there. And when I click on, go to funds transactions it's really i'm looking at my wallet and i can see it right there so i'm going to unshare my screen and uh that's a very quick demo again you can see uh in a previous video yesterday you can see step by step we walk through security deposits and all of it and uh if people have uh further questions i'm sure people have lots of questions and uh i think we're going to hold off on on taking any unless christoph you tell us there's a burning one uh, just to keep the video short so that we can share this and you, people who watch this can share this and people can really uh, go through it quickly. Um, but join us uh, in Slack, talk to us on Twitter. Right? We'll put all those links in the, in the show notes below. And we really appreciate everybody coming out for this. Um, Christoph, any, anything final from you? Um, no, I um, actually tried to answer all the questions so far. Um, so from my side, everything is, is fine. Congrats to the successful trade. <laughs> cool. cool trade Four. completed in under 15 minutes. <laughs> nice. Okay, you can do the same. <laughs> Enjoy, everybody. And that includes settlement. So. Nice. Yeah, stay tuned for more news on USD Liquidity Week. It's been going really well so far. If you, if you didn't notice, we had uh, 30 open offers in the, in, the, in the USD order book, offer book. It's never looked better. So cheers. Onward.